Hey, what's up guys? <clears throat> I'm talking about uh, staking up tomato plants today. There's a lot of ways to do it, uh, a, lot, a lot of different opinions on how to properly support these plants, but keep in mind that they, they do want to kind of lay down on the ground, uh, and if you don't support them, they'll, that's where they'll end up. So uh, last year, I did most of my tomatoes with uh, some pieces of cattle panel that I cut up and kind of tied in place around them. Uh, and it was very effective, but not attractive. So, you know, I'm trying to kind of pretty up the garden this year a little bit. And uh, I wanted to uh, I wanted to use something that was going to uh, still be uh, effective, but, but look nice. So I went to Home Depot and I got three different options. And we're going to take a look at all three of those options today. And kind of get an idea of how, how easy or difficult they are to set up. And then throughout the season, we'll kind of keep an eye on them and see how effective they are in their support of the plant uh, and uh, and then you know how well they last because you know these things are not cheap they're you know between five and, and nine dollars each uh, so we want them to last several years to get our money's worth out of them so uh, I have 13 tomato plants uh, in these three boxes right here behind me that we're gonna stake up today uh, probably another 10 more that we're not gonna deal with today I might have to come up with something for those. So, um, the things that I've thought about in the past is uh, <clears throat> like this box right here behind me. This is a three foot uh, wide by eight foot long box, and I've got five tomato plants in it. Uh, what I considered possibly doing is putting uh, some some T posts uh, at the ends of the box, and then running twine between them. Uh, and using that to support the plants and I think that would be effective actually um, and the T post could stay there you know year round um, the twine would have to get cut out and, and put back in but but these cages that I bought today at Home Depot that we're going to be using uh, they're all designed to come out in the fall when after you've har harvested the plants and you know put in storage and hopefully used again next year and the year after that so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the options out there uh, the three options that I picked up from Home Depot today so this one right here was the cheapest one let me just go ahead and crack this open this was uh, five bucks and change with tax probably in the six dollar range and uh, they used good tape if that means anything okay so what's going on here is just three panels that open up like a triangle and connect together not much more to it than that um, the cool thing about this is you don't have to connect them to each other you could connect several of them together and kind of zigzag so that's one of the ones that we're gonna try out today this one you guys have probably all seen before this is your, your very typical style tomato cage. And uh, we're just gonna take that tag off of it because it sticks out like a sore thumb. <clears throat> so this one here, these kind of go over the tomato plant and shove down into the ground. Tomato grows up through here. Uh, this was the most expensive one. This particular one is coated in kind of a rubberized paint uh, hopefully it makes it last longer. Uh, you've seen these in just uh, galvanized metal uh, in the five to six dollar range. This one was actually nine dollars. That's the most expensive one. This one I've looked at before and I've always avoided it because it's plastic. But I decided this year to go ahead and pick some of them up and try it and see what happens. Um, you know, I, I, I never expect anything made out of plastic to last very long, uh, especially when you're getting a lot of sunshine. And, well, you hope your garden's getting a lot of sunshine. So, cleanup's going to be a bummer today. All this, all these wrappings. Tennessee. 
So the idea here is these three guys, which are supposedly metal uh, with a plastic coating, are going to drive down into the ground around the plant, and then these pop on like this wherever you want them uh, to support not only each other but then the plant itself. So there's the three options that I picked up today. I'm going to open the rest of these up and then we're going to set them up. So I think we will start with these guys right here. Let's do it. Okay, first one we're going to try out is your Tomato Tower Plus. And uh, we're just going to put this back behind the tomato plant like this. And then kind of close it in on itself. I may have to tie these. We'll see. Pretty easy. And then we're just going to press it down into the ground as far as it'll go. Never made a dollar alone, but he sure had a real good time. Then he sidetracked down Louisiana way. And those kids and girls love to hear him play. Nashville ain't ever heard of the poor boy saying. They tell me he's picking on that flat top box. Playing all them bio songs of blues. Got a hold of the boy and made him feel alive. Some Creole queen she caught his eyes. Eating alligator stew and crawfish pie. Playing at the swamp house and on Saturday. Tomato Tower Plus. Not too bad. Well, he still dreams of neon lights from the grand old opera to L.A. nights. And he still plans to make a... Okay. So now we're going to put in some of these regular old tomato cages. These, again, are the ones that have the uh, kind of rubberized coating on them. Probably designed to help them last a little longer. I'm going to bend these bottoms out just a little bit. And then I'm going to slide it over the top of the plant. The blues got a hold of the boy and made him feel alive. Some Creole queen she caught his eyes eating alligator stew and crawfish pie. Playing at the swamp house and on Saturday night. Hey. Not bad. They tell me he's. Picking on that flat top box, playing all them bio songs of blues. Got a hold of the boy and made him feel alive. Some Creole queen she caught his eyes, eating alligator stew and crawfish pie. Playing at the swamp house and on Saturday night. Yeah, he's playing at the swamp house and on Saturday night. That's set up pretty easy. Okay, now we're gonna try out these old tomato cages. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. By the time I got done opening all of these just now, which I did not film because I didn't want to make anybody out there decide to run a warm bath. Um, huh. Wow. I was ready to just give up on these. But, you know what? Packaging, be what it be. Uh, let's see what we think about these as we set them up. So, there's a pointy side and a flat side. I'm speculating the pointy side goes in the ground. couple of taps there. We're gonna figure out where to put the next one by putting this on here.
pointy side in the ground. Okay. Get another one of these. Now we gotta converge two of these things together. Pointy side in the ground. Saying that's a damn shame. Sitting there on that high wassy bridge, everybody jumped, but I never did. I didn't get the girl at Tennessee summer night. It's alright, cause this is the life that I live. Taking each day for all it'll give. There's times I've hit and times I've missed, but I've never lost. I won't quit, cause this is the life that I live. Hold Living for the moment, taking what I get All in this life that I live I learned in Sunday school All about the golden rule What to do and what to not When you really don't want to get caught I gave Putting these top ones on and you can put them anywhere you want there's not like notches for them but I'm putting some at the top just to support these kind of form them up and then I only put one row around the bottom and uh, the rest of these I'll add as the plant grows a little bit well, that was a definitely a little bit more work but um, well let's see how they turn out All right, guys, I'll tell you what, um, just based on what I know so far, which is purchase price, ease of installation, and, you know, how durable it felt as I was doing it, um, which is something that I can't, you know, I can't, I can't have you reach through the, the screen here and feel it. Uh, that'd be a whole different kind of show. <laughs> but, um, but I can try to explain that this one right here actually felt very sturdy. Now, some of you may have used the $5 version of this. Um, and it was flimsy and I've used that in the past and was reluctant to use this one but this actually all the way around granted it was the most expensive but it was literally one dollar more than the most difficult one to put in okay uh, so we're talking about nine dollars right here for this um, it really feels sturdy I believe it's gonna last and the installation was pretty decent I mean uh, these guys back here, these, these little uh, triangle cages, these were probably the easiest to put in and really feel the flimsiest. I mean, I don't, I don't expect to like these. Um, then these guys right here, these guys were just a pain to put in. Um, I, I won't use these again simply because of the packaging and how long it took to set them up. Uh, I, I don't expect them to be that much better as the season goes on, but hey, we'll see. I, I'm married to these things until they're, you know, until they're ruined now. So we're going to see how long that is. But, um, but to break it down, in my opinion, from what happened today, I would go with these guys right here. Uh, the 42-inch heavy-duty tomato cage from Home Depot for $9. I'll bet you there's a version of this on Amazon. Um, and, oh, oh look. There's the, uh, there's the tag. Blue Ribbon Gardeners. So Blue Ribbon Gardeners, 54 inch, I might have said 42 inch earlier, I was incorrect. 54 inch heavy duty tomato cage for $9 at Home Depot. Probably can find it anywhere. Anderson, Walter Anderson's, uh, you know, Amazon.com. In fact, I'll look for it on Amazon and if I can find it, I'll put it in our store. But um, anyway, thanks for hanging out. And uh, hey, let's go check out the snap peas. I've been having uh, I've been having some issues 
with uh, with some kind of I don't know some kind of critter getting in the garden. Um, it really likes snap peas. It seems like you know every time I come out here, you know I'm doing stuff and I'm looking at everything and everything's growing real good, you know. Um, even the snap peas are growing real good. I mean, the plants look beautiful, but it seems like every time I come out here, I go in the house and Sid asks me, hey, you know, get any snap peas? Oh, babe. Something been eating them. I don't know what to say. Guys, really appreciate you hanging out with us one more time at the Crouch Ranch. A little bit of gardening going on. This is a beautiful time of year. I love to garden. And, um... Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the little bell so you get notifications when we post new videos or decide to go live. I'm going to go check out those snap peas again.